Okay, today we're going to look at the Wix and Bosch oil filter. Wix number 51394 and Bosch number 3311. And you get both of these at Rock Auto. The Wix cost $4.69 and the Bosch cost $4.02. And these two are going to duke it out. It could get rough, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a glued up silicone. You're nice and tight. You get your inner right here. Filtration. Okay, we'll start with the Bosch and we'll start with the box. They have it at 99% efficiency. And if you look over here, it's based on iOS test 4548.12 at 20 microns. And that's on the 35 zero zero oil filter but i'm assuming this has the same filter media so it'd be the same uh micron rating and they got a little picture over here but one thing i want to say about this picture is looks are a little deceiving here um they got a metal core here with holes and as we're going to find out this filter's got a metal core but it's got louvers Here's the date code, F01H18E2. This is a sticker. And it's made in USA. She has eight inlet holes, bypass valve down below. And I don't know if you could see that inside there, but it's got metal core with louvers. Nitro rubber o-ring. And I used to call these little indentations, these are actually called gasket retainers. As a viewer pointed out to me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this these this is on here pretty good. It's kind of thin though. Let's look at the wicks. Open her up. And she's got a date code of 03-16-21. That's pretty easy. March 16th. Wix also has a sticker. And she's made in Mexico. Ooh. Also, eight inlet holes, a lot larger. I see a metal core with, looks to be louvers, and it looks like it has an upper bypass valve. By the color of that, I'd say it's a silicone anti-drain back valve. They're both supposed to have silicone anti-drain back valves. And let's see what the O-ring on here is. Nitro rubber, but it's on here pretty good. Can't get it off. I don't know. You know what? I'll get it off later. But let's compare these two. Look at the inlet hole difference. A lot different there. In the gasket o ring, you can see it's a little bit bigger on the wicks. Well, you know what? I say we take these babies, open them up, and see what's inside. Okay, they're both cut open, and let's start with the weight. The Wix weighs 7.4 ounces, and the Bosch weighs 6.8 ounces. And check out the Wix. Yep, coil spring. Let's weigh the base plate. 
3.0 ounces in the Bosch. Bosch weighs 3.2 ounces, a little heavier. Probably because the holes are smaller. <laughs> now look at how much larger the holes are on the wicks. You could get a better oil flow. What about the threads? Threads probably, Bosch are probably a little more. And the O-rings, I'm going to take them off. This is the Bosch. And this the wicks, it's really on here very well. I mean, this ain't coming off too easy. It's on there real good. It's thick, too. You can see the difference there. Look at the difference. Big difference there. Wix. This is the Wix. This is the Bosch. Okay. How about the rest of the filter? We got... This is the Wix anti-drain back valve. This is the Bosch anti-drain back valve. Both nice. And let's check out the filter... Well, let's check out the wicks here. First, we got an upper bypass valve. These are nice. And this upper bypass valve's got a setting of uh, 8 to 11 PSI. How about the filter media? I counted 44 pleats with a metal crimp seam. Metal end caps. They got a little sloppy here with the glue. It's not real, real bad, but it's kind of bad right here in this one spot. And the pleats, a little space here. Yeah, a little sloppy. And coil spring. It's a nice can. Let's weigh the can. Can weighs 1.3 ounces. Before I get the measurements, let's look at the Bosch. Okay, the Bosch, I counted 54 pleats. Metal crimp seam. And... Also a little sloppy with the glue, metal end caps, but a little bit better probably than the wicks. Oh, and the filtration. Well, you know what the filtration is on this. This is 99% at 20 microns. That's what they say. Um, and the, the wicks has a micron rating of 99% at 23 microns. And this is what I found. I found that on uh, Rock Auto website. On the Wix website, it says a nominal micron rating of 21. So they're they're pretty close. These two guys are pretty close in uh, filtration numbers. What do they weigh? The Wix weighs 1.9 ounces. 1.9 ounces, same weight. The Bosch has a stamp leaf spring. And the can weighs 1.3 ounces. So let's get some measurements. Okay, where it's up the sticker. This is the Wix. 0.4. That's about average. And the Bosch. Probably about the same. 0.4. Yeah, it's between 0.4 and 0.5. They both feel the same. Okay, here's the Wix. And geez. 1.31 inches wide. 2.33 inches this way. 1.86 inches and the Bosch is 
1.77 inches, 2.2 inches, 2.17 inches. Yeah, the Wix is a little bit shorter. Shorter, less pleats, so I figure in less filter media. Well, you know what? Let's cut these babies open, stretch them out, and go from there. Okay, here they are stretched out. And the Bosch is 46 inches long. And the Wix is 36 inches long. They're zoomed out. The Wix is a whole 10 inches shorter. Okay, and here they are at the seams. And I took some little samples. BB in for the Bosch. And W for the Wix. I'm going to take a little measurements here. I got, I was getting like 0 0.7, 0 0.6 right now, in the, well, 0 0.7, 0 0.7 on the Bosch, I'm going to say, and I was getting the same on the Wix. Point seven. So they're about the same thickness, filter media goes. But there's a lot more filter media for the Bosch. So I give the filter media to the Bosch. Let's look at the rest of the filter. So what's the good and the bad? The Wix, the Wix got the base plate. Bigger holes, better, you know, you get a better foil flow, I would think, with that. Um, bypass valve, upper bypass valve, these are nice. Coil spring, this is nice. The louvers, they both got louvers, so. Oh, and I forgot to mention the bypass valve on this Bosch. It's right here. And it has a setting of uh, 14 to 18 PSI. Yeah, it's got, it's got smaller holes. Stamp leaf spring. But, you know, this is a toss-up between these two. I, for me, anyways, I... You know, the filter media is really a killer here. You got a lot more, you have a lot more square inches on the Bosch than you do on the Wix. And the cost on them are both about the same. If you get them at Rock Auto, there's only like a 60, 67 cent difference in price. So the price really isn't a factor in between these two. So which one would you guys pick? So I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.